Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in this video, I'm going to go over some of our new performance optimization features in Oxygen 2.2. The first feature I'd like to show you is the new Bloat Eliminator Settings tab, and we can find that in the WordPress Admin panel under Oxygen Settings and then the Bloat Eliminator tab. Here you'll see several items listed with checkboxes next to each one. Ticking the checkbox disables that item on your site. Disable WP Emojis turns off the JavaScript that renders emojis in WordPress. Disable jQuery Migrate disables the ability to run old deprecated jQuery code on the current jQuery version. Disable Embeds disables the automatic embedding of some content when you paste the URLs to that content into your posts. Disable Google Fonts cuts off Google Fonts entirely, which is useful for some people that need to make sure they're not loading anything from Google in the back end. And then disable webfont.js turns off the JavaScript method of loading Google Fonts and uses the pure CSS method instead. Webfont.js does add some features like some classes that allow you to manage a flash of unstyled text and things like that, but in most cases it's unnecessary, so we added the checkbox here to remove it in case you don't need it. By turning off these items that you do not need, you're further optimizing your Oxygen site and making sure you're only loading the things that are absolutely necessary. Since we're already talking about Google Fonts, let's jump into the Oxygen Builder and talk about our new font weight and italic picker that works with Google Fonts. So let's go to Pages, and we'll jump into the sample page here, and edit with Oxygen. Once we're in the Builder, let's go to Manage, Settings, Global Styles, and Fonts. I've selected a couple of Google Fonts here already, and below the Font Selector dropdown, you can see this little Weights link. So let's open that up for the Display Font and take a look at our options. So the normal behavior of Oxygen is if none of these boxes are checked, then all weights, except italics, will become available on your site. The font files will be loaded from Google if they're used by an element on your page. Now, if we check some of these boxes, only the weights chosen are ever loaded. So, if you set a weight for a heading to 500, but only check the boxes for 400 and 700 in the weight chooser, the 500 weight won't actually be loaded by the browser since Oxygen never outputs the code to load it. So the browser will use the closest available weight that it knows about, which in that case would be 400. Additionally, if you use italics in the normal method by choosing a heading, going to advanced, typography, and setting it to italic, the browser will simulate italics by skewing the font. However, if we use the new font weight and italic picker and choose an italic weight, your site will load true italics from Google Fonts. So, by using the new weight and italic picker, you can make sure you're being very efficient in loading the font weights that are required for the design that you've set up. Next, let's take a look at Image Source Set, which is now available for image elements in Oxygen 2.2. Here I have an image in my design, and you can see that I've inserted the image URL, which was an image uploaded to my site, and it's loaded. The problem is, this image is a little over 4,000 pixels wide, and my content container is about 768 pixels, so you can see where that might be a problem as far as optimization is concerned. To address this, we can load the image in a slightly different way to allow the source set attribute to be used on the image to load the size that's needed depending on the viewport width. So let's jump over to our Images Properties pane, and you'll notice a new option in the Primary tab called Media Library. Let's click on that, and here we can specify the ID of the image, or we can browse to the image. I'm going to go ahead and browse to it, and hit Select Image, 
And below the ID field, you'll see the size field. This allows us to determine the size of the image that we're going to load. In this case, large seems to work well. And it will restrict the size of the image that's loaded so that we're only loading the biggest image that's needed for our design. What this will also do is it will add a source set attribute to the image that will take effect as the viewport is sized down to load progressively smaller versions of the image on the front end. So by using this loading method, you can really optimize your site for mobile devices because images are usually some of the largest assets that are loaded in your design. Now one thing to note about the use of source set on image elements is that it will only load source set sizes smaller than the size you've selected in the size dropdown. So if you choose thumbnail, it won't load any source set sizes, but if you choose medium, large, or full, then the source set attribute will be utilized on the front end to optimize your image. And so those are the new performance optimization features included in Oxygen 2.2. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and thank you for watching.